And San Francisco's startup scene is flourishing, but in an industry largely dominated by men, a woman is rising to the forefront. Ben Tracy learned how she left one of the coldest places on earth to heat up high tech. Mm -hmm. The city by the bay is booming with ideas. And yes, the offices still look a lot like adult playgrounds. Get computers, get a ping pong table. It was not optional. <laughs> Dina Varshevskaya is the founder of a mobile shopping app and website called Wanilo. It's a mashup of the words want, need, love. Her San Francisco headquarters is full of quirky items found on the site. Obviously, having fun in the office matters to you. Why, why is that so critical? Um, I think it's because fun is something that empowers you, right? Wanilo is a social shopping experience. Users, mostly young and female, post pictures of items they like from other retail sites. That adds up to 14 million products in 350,000 stores. When you click on a product, you're transferred to the retailer's site, but Wanilo gets a cut for the referral. It's basically the world's largest shopping mall, and it's all on your phone. They will expose you to stores you've just never heard of. It's more about, hey, I know the store and you don't, and I'm going to tell you about it. Juanilo now has 11 million users. It's the fastest growing social network dedicated to shopping. Varshevskaya launched the site two years ago with her own savings, but it was not an overnight sensation. So this was not a huge hit on day four. Absolutely not. <laughs> more than that, when I went out to raise funding, it took more than 40 rejections to even close my very first seed round. 40 rejections? 40 rejections. And you never gave up? It was hard, for sure. Um, but that's part of what I really love about what I do, is that um, the startup essentially is my foundation for personal growth. And I absolutely love that I'm being pushed to the limit. She's a female fashionista in tech, an industry more known for guys in jeans and hoodies. And she's originally from Siberia. Were there a lot of shopping malls in Siberia? No. <laughs> I don't remember any. <laughs> Varshevskaya grew up in a working class town before moving to the U.S. at 16. She studied computer science at Cornell, but dropped out before graduating. My dad was a political journalist, which meant that from the very early age, he basically pushed me to question everything, which probably explains a lot of why I'm here today. <laughs> And my mom was someone who just kind of had this, you know, I'm just going to do things I want attitude, basically. And, um, and I think the two things combining, the lack of fear uh, from my mom and the desire to question everything from my dad sort of enabled me to, to build the things I want to build. If you stop by her house, you'll see both classic and eclectic things she's bought on Winilo, and the one item she hoards. I collect leggings obsessively. You have a pair of leggings with Ryan Gosling on them. Why did you buy those? <laughs> I bought them because they're so preposterous. <laughs> and when I wear them, it makes me laugh and it makes people around me laugh. <laughs> Almost as preposterous as a woman from Siberia reinventing the way we shop. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, San Francisco. Everybody needs a pair of Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Gosling leggings. I want to know more about Winnie Lowe. Yeah, yeah, me too. Now we know what to get.